Hello, my name is Javier Bofarul and I am a clarinet teacher in Reus Conservatory in Spain. I am going to try to explain how to record an acoustic instrument like the clarinet using a microphone, an audio interface and a laptop with sonar installed on. First of all, I have to decide which type of microphone is best suited for a clarinet recording, a dynamic or a condenser one. If we have a look at how the sound of the clarinet is produced, we can see that when I blow into the mouthpiece, the pressure of the air makes the reed vibrate, which at the same time makes the air clone inside the clarinet vibrate as well, producing the sound. This sound doesn't come out only by the end of the instrument, as we can see here. It comes out from the holes that are uncovered with fingers or keys, and that makes the choosing of the microphone easier for me. I'm going to use a condenser microphone because it will record the sound more equally whatever note you play. Because of its sensitiveness, and I will not have to move my instrument nearer to the microphone depending on the note I'm producing. Well, here you can see uh, the microphone I'm going to use the audio interface and uh, my lab computer, my laptop and the headphones so I can hear the sound I record. We can see that the microphone is connected by a XLR cable, right? You can see it here. And I hear it through the headphones. We will connect the audio interface to the laptop by a fiber cable and we'll use an XLR cable to connect the microphone to the audio interface. We can see the XLR cable here and the fiber cable which goes to the laptop. We have to make sure that when we plug in the XLR cable the gain, the gain is turned down to its minimum level. And the phantom power, you can see here, right? The phantom power is off. This way we will not damage the equipment. Once everything is plugged in, the phantom power is turned on, you can see it now, up, uh, up to get a nice level of recording without distortion. We will get the gain up to a level which doesn't distortion. If I put it too much high, let's see what happens. We can see that clips, that means that it's distortion. So, I'll put it to a nice level. Uh, if we turn the gain to high, we can see the sound clips and that would ruin our recording. This process is done by the preamp of the audio interface. What happens once I start playing the clarinet is that the audio interface will convert the analogical signal into a digital signal, turning it into numbers so the computer can understand it. Then the signal is turned into an analogical signal again and sent to the headphones in this case. I am using headphones. Once everything is set up, we are ready to record the clarinet. We just pick an audio track, like this one I have already prepared here, and well, we can start recording. Press record and start playing. So let's play. can see here the recording when it's ready, when it's done. We've got the audio here and if I press play I can hear it. <laughs> 